Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is Friday, February 21st, 2014. We have reported on a string of highly suspicious banker suicides. Bankers just deciding to jump to their death and leave behind family members and friends and lots of money. All these individuals very highly paid working for some of the preeminent banks around the world, ranging from J.P. Morgan Chase, and that seems to be where we have most of the connection, other banks like Deutsche Bank, Russell Investments, etc. And this mystery seems to be geared and tied in directly to the Forex division of not just J.P. Morgan Ch Chase, but other banks, other major banks that are currently under investigation. And I'm going to get to that in a moment. Now, you can watch the video we put out yesterday, Fifth Banker Suicide in Two Weeks. And we also had our original video here, Four Banker Suicides in One Week, uh, that you can watch. It has gone semi-viral on the Internet on YouTube. You know, I've had some questions, and we've been sent reports, and I want you to thank, thank all of you for sending in tips where this death count is actually a lot higher. Uh, in fact, it uh, ranges anywhere from eight banker deaths to 12 banker deaths. And there was just a second J.P. Morgan Chase death a few days ago, a Hong Kong uh, trader who jumped to his death in the middle of the street uh, with some very graphic images. Now, some of the deaths I had scrapped from this report because it seemed more like conjecture whether or not it was related specifically uh, to these other banker suicides. Um, so I'll leave that up to you to decide uh, what's accurate and not. Uh, but the five bankers that I mentioned yesterday, in my opinion, are all connected somehow, uh, are all connected to this underground conspiracy, so to speak. Now, a few days ago, there was a second J.P. Morgan banker to jump to his death. This is the third J.P. Morgan banker to die. Again, all tied into the Forex division, a multi-trillion dollar market of trading currencies, trading the Argentina peso. Uh, maybe shorting the peso, uh, as we saw the peso collapse a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you know, these trading desks based in London and New York City and around the world, basically, it's kind of like semi-illegal activity. I mean, these companies like J.P. Morgan, you can see the gentleman here in Hong Kong about to jump to his death, uh, basically have inside information and an inside track on their clients. So uh, if they get a phone call or an email uh, that says they've got a, you know, big, big client about to purchase, you know, X amount of shares uh, or, or purchase a certain lot uh, in currency, they have the ability to front run those trades and make billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars. You know, it'd be kind of like sitting on the trading desk of the, uh, the, you know, the London division of JP Morgan getting a call uh, that says, hey, if you, you know, front run this trade, you'll be able to buy yourself a Ferrari. Uh, so what do you think that these guys do? Uh, you know, so they're pretty much engaging in semi-illegal activity as it is. Uh, and of course, we've seen this with the manipulation of LIBOR, the London Interbank Offered Rate, which has also been under investigation. Uh, these companies pursued, but of course, nothing happens to them because the bankers are above the law. Uh, so they just get away with, you know, the manipulation of our financial system and the markets, just like the Federal Reserve is manipulating uh, the financial markets right now through monetary uh, policy and, you know, driving interest rates artificially to zero uh, and creating an environment of extreme risk for average investors. Uh, but here we have a third J.P. Morgan Chase uh, banker uh, jump to his death in Hong Kong. Uh, the uh, first death uh, was from Gabriel McGee, who jumped to his death off the London J.P. Morgan Chase building. Now we have a, uh, a banker jumping from the Hong Kong building. And then, of course, yesterday I reported on Ryan Crane, who was only 37, uh, and McGee, I believe, was only 39. Uh, Ryan Crane's death, also likely a suicide, although there's been limited information given outside of the fact that we know uh, that he died uh, at his home, I believe, in Connecticut. Uh, so all of these linked, all of these deaths linked to J.P. Morgan Chase specifically, all linked to the Forex division. In fact, there's a probable cause that, uh, and a likelihood, strong likelihood, that Ryan Crane and uh, Gabriel McGee and maybe even uh, this third banker, J.P. Morgan Chase banker, to die all knew each other, having worked on 
uh, the, at the desk of J.P. Morgan and would you would assume be in regular communication, uh, at least uh, from time to time. Uh, some very graphic pictures here below I won't go to, but I will just leave the link. If you, that's something you want to see for yourself, you're certainly welcome to do that. Oh, and by the way, only 33 years old. So a lot of really young bankers just deciding to off themselves, you know, leave their family and friends behind because <laughs> they have nothing else to live for. Strange, isn't it? Uh, what did they know? Were they in, involved in something criminal? Had they uh, uncovered something criminal about this criminal bank that has already been under investigation and is actually under investigation now uh, by the FBI, which I find hilarious because the FBI probably protect J.P. Morgan Chase. But uh, they're under investigation right now along with about a dozen or so other major banking institutions. This came out late 2013 before the string of bank banker deaths uh, began occurring, uh, being probed uh, for illegal activity in the currency markets. Uh, in in their forex trading departments, uh, we have another article here uh, from a citizen journalist. Says eighth banker commits suicide. Uh, J P Morgan Hong Kong and thirty stories down. Uh, again, you know, I had admitted a few people because I just don't didn't think it had necessarily, you know, the probable cause as a link. Uh, but again, I would encourage you to investigate. In fact, there was another individual who ran, I believe, some kind of a title company. Uh, that I believe is in this list who used a nail gun uh, and shot himself like nine times or something like that in the chest and then in the head. You know, it's kind of like the, uh, uh, you know, commit suicide by shooting yourself in the back of the head. I, I really don't know how that happens, but uh, for some reason, uh, these people just seem to die. It's kind of like the Clinton Eastas putting out the hits, you know, uh, people killing themselves with three bullets to the back of the head. I, I don't even know how that's possible, but... For some reason, it is when you know hits put on you by the Clintonistas or uh, the J.P. Morgan Chases of the world or the Lloyd Blankfein sitting at Goldman Sachs, uh, which has been the accusation uh, from people like Max Kaiser. Uh, also, very interesting is the family of uh, missing Wall Street Journal reporter David Byrd, who had been covering the OPEC and oil markets ex uh, extensively over the past few months and very well known. Again, a reporter from the Wall Street Journal, maybe you've even read some of his articles, just decided to go for a walk. You know, he, it was like a Saturday, you know, afternoon. He thought he left his cell phone charging and his medication because he's had a liver transplant. He needs to take like pills three times a day. Just left him in there and uh, vanishes without a trace. Like he disappeared like a ghost. Uh, here's uh, the sister-in-law saying that they don't have any clue what's happened to him. It's just that he's vanished. He just disappeared. And it's amazing that they don't even connect the dots. Uh, maybe they already know, but they're uh, being, I don't know, bought off or uh, someone's approached them to, you know, make them fear actually stating the truth. And they probably just want the return of their loved one. Uh, but to think that there would be no motive to just, you know, disappear this guy over here uh, that happens to be, you know, covering OPEC and the oil markets uh, seems seems a little naive. And for some reason, I don't think this lady is that naive. Uh, Bird described by family and friends as an avid, strong hiker, uh, 55 years old, with two kids too, you know, just deciding to leave his family and disappearing all of a sudden. Was a scout leader, uh, was last seen leaving his home in Long Hill Township, New Jersey on January 11th. Bird told his wife he was going on a short walk before an expected rainstorm. He left his cell phone at home charging as well as daily medication he takes following his liver transplant. So leaves everything behind, vanishes, disappears. Uh, again, uh, you know, the FBI and, uh, you know, mainstream media, the bullshit media that, you know, spouts propaganda on a daily basis uh, just to keep you dumbed down and, you know, in control. Kind of like the new Lego movie that came out. <laughs> I haven't seen yet, but I've, I've read is some, some really is entertaining, uh, but really interesting how it portrays capitalism and the control grid and the, the power structure and uh, the dumbed down, you know, sheeple uh, singing songs of the state and, you know, happy with the fact that uh, big government grants them Taco Tuesdays. Uh, that's what keeps them in line. I find that funny. But uh, David Byrd, of course, just randomly missing investigative reporter. Uh, here's another report. Here's another picture of David Byrd. Uh, interesting article uh, by Pam Martins. I encourage you to read. A uh, series of deaths among financial workers jolts London. Uh, separately, there was a gentleman by the name of Tim Dickinson, a UK-based communications director at Swiss REAG, who died last week. The circumstances of and reason for Mr. Dickinson's death haven't been made public. That was uh, one of the deaths that uh, we had missed in, in the report yesterday, which uh, 
seems to also have a connection uh, to the rest of this mysterious disappearing, disappearing and disappearance act. Uh, and, you know, the fact that these people, I guess, are challenging the uh, Red Bull slogan by seeing if they have wings by jumping off of buildings uh, for sport. Uh, here's another citizen blog counting 12 deaths in eight months. So it ranges anywhere from, you know, five confirmed deaths on the conservative side, as we reported yesterday, to eight to 12. Who knows? Maybe it's, you know, as we're counting here, it's probably up to like 15 a day uh, now that it's been 24 hours, you know, just bankers dying uh, left and right. Uh, here we have ABC Verlag, greetings cards, uh, Daniel Eicher, suicide, left two notes, week of 6-10-2013, Karsten Schlotter, uh, 49 suicide, found ha hanging, uh, uh, we have Bank of America, Moritz er Earhart, 21, seizure due exhaustion, I actually remember reporting on this, this just seemed like a legitimate seizure to me, I, don't, I, I really didn't think it had a connection necessarily to these banker deaths. Uh, Zurich Insur Insurance Group, uh, Pierre, suicide, found hanging, uh, leaves two notes. This one caught my eye. I thought it was interesting, although he's you know pretty old, and I guess he had recently had a stroke. So, you know, people do commit suicide from time to time. Uh, but this gentleman, Robert Wilson, a former hedge fund manager, gave away $800 million prior to his death uh, before uh, jumping, you know, seeing if he could fly, seeing if the uh, Red Bull slogan was true, seeing if he had wings. Uh, here's the tycoon, 800 million, just decides to give away randomly to uh, the Catholic Church. And also, uh, he gave away to, uh, I believe, uh, some kind of environmental fund or something like that. Uh, did a little Google search here, J.P. Morgan Forex probe. Of course, J.P. Morgan Ch Chase has been in the hot seat. Uh, this all came to uh, the front lines late last year before the string of these deaths. There seems to be a connection, in my opinion. Uh, they're being probed. Uh, and their forex divisions are, are specifically being looked at for criminal activity. Uh, you can find this information from Bloomberg, USA Today, the Financial Times, uh, all the big mainstream media corporations. Uh, here's a page of J.P. Morgan Chase's foreign exchange. You know what they do. All you need to know about forex trading is it's a semi-criminal activity where again these firms are acting on inside information. J.P. Morgan Chase and Goldman Sachs, etc., trading for their own accounts and front-running their customers which, again, is illegal. You know, it's kind of one of those gray, semi-illegal areas that they get away with, uh, you know, kind of their Bernie Madoff scam that they run. You know, J.P. Morgan Chase, you know, not having a single down day, having not lost money once uh, in 2013, according to their, you know, criminal reporting of their trading practices. Uh, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan Chase, again, J.P. Morgan highlighted RBS confirmed Forex probes uh, being investigated under review for criminal activity right before these deaths. Again, there couldn't possibly be a connection. Just just random events. You know, young men uh, in their 30s with everything to live for uh, just deciding to jump off buildings. Nothing to see here, folks, though. Not, nothing to question. Just, you know, go back to your business and enjoy Taco Tuesdays. I think Obama's going to start doing that every Tuesday now once he uh, pops up uh, Obamacare about, you know, a thousand percent and, you know, continues to bankrupt America. Uh, here we have the uh, market watch, the Wall Street Journal, international forex probe deepens as Deutsche Bank suspends traders. Again, there was a Deutsche Bank gentleman uh, who had uh, also died. Uh, just another random banker suicide. Uh, and here it says De Deutsche Bank and Citigroup on Wednesday got further engulfed in the international currency probe spotlight when media reports laid out stories about suspended traders and visiting investigators respectively at the two banks. Uh, the Wall Street Journal said several traders have been suspended at Deutsche Bank in the Americas with at least one of them trading the Argentine peso. Of course, Argentina's currency has recently collapsed. Uh, I'm sure that these firms were on the inside. In fact, they probably helped promote it and profited well into the billions, if not trillions, on that front-running activity. Uh, in an official statement, the German bank confirmed that it was involved in the global probe into possible currency price manipulation. Uh, of course, there's been a great scandal on LIBOR, the London Interbank Offer Rate, which basically is a driver of all kinds of credit rates, uh, mortgage rates, etc., around the world. Also, uh, Europe has their own uh, uh, LIBOR type rate uh, that has been uh, very well manipulated throughout the years as well. I believe that's also being looked into. Uh, the Financial Times, again, at least 15 of the world's biggest banks are under investigation by regulators and the currency probes, including all the players that I just mentioned. Uh, another article here at the Financial Times, Traders Caught in Widening Forex Probe. So the list goes on and on. Uh, reporters, 
uh, seem to be missing, uh, seem to be just winding up, vanishing, you know, while they're going for a walk, leaving their medication at home and their cell phone charging. Anywhere from five confirmed bankers to eight confirmed bankers to 12 confirmed bankers, depending on how you connect the dots and what you think has the most uh, legitimate connection. I encourage you again to do your own work. Uh, it just keeps stacking up. Uh, you know, more dead bodies, uh, more people jumping off buildings, folks. Uh, so, you know, God knows uh, how many more people will be dead uh, by the end of next week. Uh, but we're up to about uh, 12 deaths uh, so far at these major financial institutions. I mean, man, if you're in college right now or you're a young kid, I mean, man, you really want to get involved in these big banks, big bailout firms, you know, you might just find yourself being pushed off one of their buildings. Uh, one of their monolithic structures in New York City on accident. You know, again, nothing happens on accident. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Of course, if you have any more information and maybe you've got banker number 13, 14, 15 and on uh, confirmed, uh, maybe that just broke while I'm uh, delivering this story. And again, this will be failed to be investigated by the mainstream media at all uh, because, again, they're not going to probe uh, those Wall Street uh, corporate elites uh, that, you know, run and just, you know, basically bang the American public for every last dollar. Uh, they'll make examples and scapegoats of people like Bernie Madoff, but God forbid they go after the real sharks, uh, the Lloyd Blank Fines of Goldman Sachs, the Jamie Diamonds of J.P. Morgan Chase. These people are untouchable, folks, and if they want to commit murder, alleged murder, they'll get away with it. I'm Christopher Green, hard-hitting and in your face. February 21st, 2014. Get this out everywhere. Make it viral.